Welcome back, Classy Crew. Now that I've achieved the status of Supreme Veteran Hunter that has, you know, completed the Arc Tempered Volcana fight with no Fatalis armor, beaten Fatalis solo with the most cheese weapon, not yet completed 3U's final monsters, and definitely has not completed all of my Sunbreak stuff, I decided it was time for one more challenge, and for that, I took on the judging of a drip fest. Now, this surprised me actually at how hard this was. I think it was actually Raul, that, uh, our editor, who suggested I do this, to put together a drip fest where the community can come together, show their layered armor, the best combination, and I judge it. I was like, yeah, sounds like a good time. Let's do it. I'm going to get to look at armor and say, I like it. I don't like it. That was my thoughts going in. And I have to say, Raul came in as a different, uh, as a secondary judge. And as soon as this competition started, I was like, Oh no, I am way in over my head once again. Uh, so really brief overview, the rules of this contest were you couldn't have more than four pieces of the same set. Like if you just had four pieces of armor set from a layer and then you like put glasses on, that doesn't count. You had to be a little bit more creative. I had Switch and PC players compete, which that was a feat in and of itself. So I was basically running two lounges at the same time. And then through my broadcast software, I was switching between the two, making it seem like, I don't know, it was a seamless crossplay experience, but it wasn't. So the first order of business before we do a drip fest, you have to look the part as a judge. And so with a little bit of help with Raul again, uh, he guided me to a place where I could get some good drip, which is called the Gala Outfit. First order of business was going to Zin and Yang, which is an arena battle with a Kezu and a Zenogre. I donned all of my high rank armor and I got two tickets, which let me get the shirt piece and the tail coat, which was perfect because everything else, I actually ended up abiding to my own rules and looking pretty classy. Look at this outfit. Look how good that looks. Raul had his outfit. I don't know what it is. He could tell you. And then we started the competition. There were in total 34 participants that joined, which blew me away. Like I've never seen uh, so many people participate in a multiplayer stream in a while. And I think I know why now. The majority of contestants were from the Switch community. So I've come to this realization that there are less people playing multiplayer with me because I'm playing on PC, which sucks so much. Like I saw so many familiar like character faces in the game. I was like, oh man, we used to play like a year ago when Rise was out and I hadn't seen them in a while. And all of these kind of old community members were showing up again because they've been on the Switch and I've been on PC and we've been segregated in this unfair Capcom universe. Oh man. So anyways, out of the 34 contestants, uh, they would basically show up on our stage and then Raul and I would judge them. And oh my goodness, this was crazy. Raul is like fantastic. This guy is a pro at the game. He can recognize every armor set. So the first one shows up. I thought it was going to be a little bit of fun banter of, oh, I really like what the style is doing and like maybe putting like some some joker criticism. Raul just gets in like serious. He's like, all right. If I'm not mistaken, this is like the, the curio crown with like the scholar chest. I think that's Geisma and Gloves, which I would not expect to match. Like, I'm very surprised that it matched. Like, the Geisma Gloves. And then the Fearain belt. No, no, it's the wrong Dean belt. Yeah, and then, the, and then the, the and then the Blossom boots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving this like an eight, just because I'm like very impressed that you managed to, to make the Geisma, the the Geisma Gorm gloves match. Oh gloves. damn, I am. Um... I am not a good judge. I am not a good judge for this. What am I doing here? Why am I judging a competition? And so anyways, it was some good fun after we would see and, and throw our uh, our criticism. And I have to say some of our criticism was pretty silly stuff. Like some of it was like, I, I saw like some furry shoulder pads. I'm like, I don't like furry shoulder pads, minus one point. It's kind of one of those contests where the rules really don't matter and we make it up as we go. Even Raul was falling for it. Um, uh, one of our community members, I think it was uh, Ar Arrow, he showed up with what was one of my favorite armor sets full night with a cape i almost gave him a 10 out of 10. uh i, I was a little shy and gave him a 9 out of 10 and how just destroyed him gave him a 6 out of 10 because of the helm he chose He's like oh if you would have went with like i think it was the teostra helm it would have given him a higher score and uh he Aro was just pissed at him for the whole night so it was kind of this fun energy but in the end we had basically three finalists on the pc side three finalists plus one i'll explain why on the switch side and then uh, the chat got to vote which one would take the win. So over on the PC side, we had Nero and Soul Blade, which both came in with these like really cool kind of dark, sinister kind of outfits. And then Lag Mode had like this kind of cool, like more uh, 
red warrior-ish kind of armor. What you see on screen will describe it better than what I'm trying to do. Like a worshiper of the dark flame. You see the flame over here, the dark the flame. The flame is a nice touch. What what part is? Oh, is that on the... Um... It's Scorn Magna. Oh, Scorn specifically. I don't yeah, think I and then it's it, And then it's the, the Pookie Helm. I, the, the, what are these gloves? Let me see. Oh, oh damn! It's Jirotota's gloves! What? I I did not recognize the Jiro I, until I took a, like a farther look and saw like the fins, and then it's like the the pants you get for buying sunbreak and uh, oh it's the defender coil, but I think one of the most important parts over in this in this set specifically is the hunting horn, because it has the the skull imagery, it has the the shape that makes him have a very cool silhouette, and the most important part is the hunting horn is the thing that allows him to make this pose to begin with. Really? This is exclusive to the hunting horn? Yeah, it's a weapon pose. You know, I think it was a really good idea to have you here as a judge to actually add this level of detail because I would definitely not know this. And in the end, I believe it was Soul Blade that took the win, uh, followed by Nero over on PC side. On the Switch, it was Democracy failed us on the Switch. Here we had Blast, who had a really cool steampunk outfit, which matched his weapon really well. Wizard Chicken, which... I don't know why, didn't get a lot of love when it came to the finals. I personally really loved his his choice of armor. Like his brand is a chicken and his armor was on brand. I was like, oh my God, you made your brand follow you into Monster Hunter. That's worth like recognition. Then we had Neil who was a witch, which uh, this was the only 10 out of 10 that Raul gave. And I actually forgot to count him in the final, which is why we got four contestants in the finals of uh, the Switch side. The witch had... Um, I like this one so much because of the fact that it used so many different pieces of armor in and stitched it together in a really cool thematic Halloween vibe kind of witch. So that's why uh, Neil got into the end there. And then Nautical, who kind of looked like Gus, uh, the monster himself, Gus Harag. And so uh, in the end, it was Nautical who won, but it was it was tied pretty much with Blast. That's why democracy failed. We tried to put it to the vote over and over and it kept tying. And so we just gave uh, all of our winners, basically whoever got first place, it was what? Soul Blade and those two winners on Switch. The VIP status on my Twitch channel, as well as the drippiest duo over on uh, our Discord. So that was really what was up for grab, a bit of vanity stuff, and it was all in good fun. We had a great time. I thought this was gonna last an hour. It ended up lasting the whole stream. Uh, so it was pretty cool to see just the creativity of the community. I really liked, I have to say, I really liked how I look as well. I really liked how everyone looked. It was just fun to see the different uh, themes. What is oh, this? Is it, this looks like my armor piece. It looks like high rank Jason. It does look like high rank me. Blue trying to lower the bar for everyone, I think. I'm just inspecting him just to make sure I got it. Get <laughs> ready for the hate of his layer. It's sensation. all actual armor. His, his deep in the role, his deep in the role play. And his first, his first one was, uh, oh man, his pose was me carding. Of course, you're yeah, on the Palomino. Yeah. But, well, I've got my number. I'm ready for for this. Uh, there was a lot of fun moments. I can't go through all of them. I'm I'm thinking we're going to do a montage and really showcase everyone's cool work on this. If you have some cool drip that you want to show off, I really encourage you join our Discord. We have a, a category for Monster Hunter fashion there for any Monster Hunter game. So if you have something cool you want to show off drop it in there. If you don't do Discord, drop it on my Twitter. I, I'll, I'll happily reshare it in the spirit of Halloween or just in the spirit of fashion hunting, honestly. And otherwise, let me know if you've been in some cool drip fest, what your stories are of late, late game uh, uh, drip fashion hunting. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Until then, keep it classy.